now we consider central limit theorem and its definition the CLT. x1, x2, and so on, xn or n mutually independent random variables. These are the n mutually independent random variables. with the mean value expectation of xi is equal to some mxi and variance of this xi is equal to sigma xi whole square or simply can write sigma i whole square. That is, the variance of x1 is sigma 1 square, variance of x2 is sigma 2 square and so on. And we find a number called Sn, which is defined as sigma i equal to 1 to n is sigma i whole square. That is the sum of the variances of these random variables is denoted as Sn square and we are letting this sigma i is less than Sn. So this is one constraint. We have n mutually independent random variables x1, x2, so on, xn with mean value mxi and the variance sigma i square and the sum of these variances is designated as Sn square in such a way that this Sn and the sigma i are related by this or otherwise the variance of a particular random variable is less than the sum of the variances of all the random variables. So if this condition is satisfied then we can define a random variable Zn called as normalized random variable which is equivalent to x1 plus x2 plus so on xn divided by this Sn. Understood? We are defining a random variable. See what is Sn? Sn is a constant. Because if you sum up all these variances, okay, you will get a constant. So we are dividing all these random variables with a constant. So therefore still the sum is a variable. So that variable we are calling it as a random variable and we call it as a normalized random variable. So here this Zn tends to Gaussian random variable. The central limit theorem says that the sum of n random variables tends to the Gaussian random variable. So this is one way of defining the central limit theorem. Strictly speaking, uh, there are uh, many definitions for the central limit theorem because uh, based on the various constraints we have to define. One constant that we consider is this sigma i is less than Sn. And one more thing, the distribution of these random variables is unequal. So, unequal distribution.
that indicates these random variables may not have the same distribution. That is the probability density of this is different from the probability density of this and the probability of density of this is different from this. So such type of random variable have, are said to be having unequal distribution. So here we consider n mutually independent random variables with unequal distribution with probability that is with expectation of xi as this and with variance this much and we are letting this condition is satisfied then the new random variable is called as the normalized random variable which is equivalent to sum of all these n mutually ex, uh, independent random variables that tends to Gaussian random variable that is simply saying sum of large number of independent random variables tends to Gaussian random variable okay, that is the a simple meaning of the central limit theorem. It says that sum of large number of independent random variables leads to the Gaussian random variable. That is, if you find the probability density function of this, so that is equivalent to the normal distribution or normal density function. Now we consider another definition or we consider another constraint. Let x1, x2 and so on, xn or n independent and identically distributed random variables. So these are the IID random variables. We are letting x1, x2, so on, xn or n independent and identically distributed random variables. In the previous case, they are not identically distributed. Then, here, we let the sigma i square, that is the variance of ith random variable. We can write it as variance of x i is equal to 1 and the m x i which is equal to expectation of x i is equal to 0. That is we are considering all these random variables have unity variance and 0 mean. Then the random variable j equivalent to x1 plus x2 plus so on xn divided by under root n. This can also be written as 1 by under root n sigma i equivalent to 1 to n xi. So this random variable z is tending to Gaussian random variable. tending to Gaussian random variable with zero mean and unity variance. Because we considered all the random variables in such a way that their variance equal to one and mean is zero. So therefore this random variable which is the sum of these random variables is also tending to the Gaussian random variable with zero mean and unity variance, provided that the characteristic function of the random variable z. So we designate the characteristic function as phi z of omega, sorry, is equal to expectation of e power j omega is it right? Characteristic function of this particular random variable j which is equal to this must be 1 by 2 times sorry, uh, 
e power minus 1 by 2 times omega square. That is, if this is the characteristic function of the random variable z, then this particular random variable z tends to the Gaussian random variable. Otherwise, we can also write this as n of 0, 1. This tends to, that is a normal distribution with 0 mean and unity values. So, this is another way of defining the central limit theorem. So, in this case, the assumption is the random variables are independent and identically distributed. Put the heading equal distribution 